The compelling art of Tetsuya Nomura and Yoshitaka Amano. They are known for their important contributions to well-known Square Enix game franchises. Today, we're going to look at their sketches and illustrations from Final Fantasy X and X-2. Final Fantasy X is the game that brought Final Fantasy dynamics to new heights by including voice acting combined with better graphics and cinematic camera angles. The story surrounds Titus, a blissful player that after an attack on the Metropolis named Senarkand was teleported to another world known as Spira. He finds himself near an island where he gets in contact with the locals. After befriending them with the common game of Blitzball, he comes into contact with the summoner Yuna. She is a firm believer of the Yevon religion and is able to summon eons that can fight for her in battle. Her life purpose is to defeat Sin, a monster that attacks Tenerkant back in the day. Titus becomes her guardian and during their adventure they start to grow close to each other. Other guardians that aid Yuna's pilgrimage are Waka, a former Blitzball player and caring childhood friend, and Kimari, a Ronzo that protects her since childhood. During their travels they come across Auron, the legendary guardian who was also teleported to this strange world by Sin, and claims to know the whereabouts of Titus' father, Jack. Nonetheless, the guardian team quickly grows when Ludo the Black Mage joins the group together with Riku, an energetic girl that is a member of the Albat, a group of people that uses Machina and are seen as heretics in the Yevon religion. Seymour, a mice and summoner of this religion, is the secondary antagonist. He wants to annihilate everyone in Spira by capturing Yuna and change her into the next sin. Naturally, for every artist, one style changes over the years. In Omura's case, Final Fantasy X's art is quite different from Final Fantasy VII. In X, he uses softer lines and edges with realistic face proportions in his works. Therefore, the line art reminds you more of Final Fantasy VIII, with the main difference of softer chins and thinner hair chunks. When we look at the color choice and saturation, the two are worlds apart. Then uses a high saturation which accentuates the shadows. Moreover, the color choice has more variety. This is because Nomura likes to create designs based on the character personalities and setting. Even though this is quite natural in concept design, he hit the nail in this game. Titus has a lot of bright colors as he is totally different than Cloud and Squall. Waka is clearly drawn with a cheerful free spirit like personality. His future wife, Lulu, is more strict and contains a lot of knowledge, as expected from her mage. Auron was based on Vincent from Final Fantasy VII and has this mysterious wandering samurai appearance, the silent type with his own two cents in life. And just for fun, here was the original art of Final Fantasy X, named 17, where the protagonist will die when he reaches that age. Final Fantasy X 2 is the second edition in the series. This story takes place two years after Sim was defeated. Yuna joined the Spear Hunter group named the Ghoul Wings. They stumble upon a sphere that contains a video about a mysterious man that has the resemblance of Titus. Nevertheless, it was soon discovered that he has a desire for vengeance and wants to use a powerful Machina weapon that can destroy Spira. The team visits multiple new locations during their missions and possess the power of Dress Spheres, where they can change into different jobs. Although Nomura's line art has not changed much, he uses a bit like the color scheme which reminds me slightly of Kingdom Hearts. Amano also created a couple of artworks for both games and he definitely did a great job by going a bit out of his comfort zone and setting these characters apart from his usual style. You mainly see this by the extensive amount of color he uses in his character design, reminding me of Final Fantasy IX art, where he was the lead character designer. In addition, he normally designs only blonde haired characters, but this time around he adhered well to Nomura's design. This is the 20th anniversary art from Yusuke Noah, the art director of Final Fantasy X who uses a bright style. There was also an intention to make Final Fantasy X 3, where Titus and Yuna will be older. I think this line art and coloring style from Nomura is one of his best. I'm Fancy Light Novel author JP Fuchs, currently looking into the E series from Nihon Falcon. An action RPG series with a recurrent hero and an excellent soundtrack. And be sure to check out my books on my Amazon page and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth styles of manga artists of our favorite video games.